This video is going to show you how to jailbreak your iPod Touch on firmware 4.3.1 using Snowbreeze, Dixworks on the 4th and 3rd generation iPod Touches. Jailbreaking your iPod using Snowbreeze will also enable multi-touch gestures. This is a tethered jailbreak, meaning that you will have to run a program in order to turn your iPod on or off. So first you need to download two files from the video description, the Snowbreeze file, and the iPod Touch 4.3.1 firmware file. And both of those links are in the video description. Then once you have downloaded the files, run Snowbreeze. Then click Next. Then select the 4.3.1 firmware file that was downloaded. Then click Next, then click Expert Mode, then under General, it says Enable Gestures menu, and this will enable the multi-touch gesture, so make sure that is checked. Then select Build IPSW. And now it will take about 3 to 5 minutes to build the IPSW. Now it's done building the IPSW, then click OK. Now you will need to put your iPod into DFU mode, so turn off your device and make sure it's plugged in. Then click Start. Hold down the Home and Power buttons for 10 seconds. Then release the power, but keep holding home. And now your iPod is in DFU mode. Then click OK, and then you can exit Snowbreeze and open iTunes. Then shift click on restore and select the firmware file that was created. The file name should start with Snowbreeze and this file was placed on your desktop. Then click open. And now it's installing the new software on your iPod. iTunes has finished updating the software and the iPod's rebooting. And now Cydia is installed. Right now, if you try to open Cydia, it will just close automatically. That's because this is a tethered jailbreak, and you will need to run iBooty first. This program was placed on your desktop after you ran Snowbreeze, so open the folder, and then run iBooty. Then select your device, and then click Start. Press the home and power buttons for 10 seconds. Then release the power button, but keep holding the home button. And now it's booting back up the iPod, and you will need to run this program each and every time you want to turn your iPod on or off. And now Cydia opens. And now your iPod is jailbroken on 4.3.1.